So let me get this straight, counsel. Your uh, client did not mean to kill the person that was attacking him. Uh, why do I believe that? Why do I believe that, counsel? Well, counsel, your client used RIP rounds. Doesn't that mean rest in peace? Oh, it means radically invasive projectile. Well, just look at how this looks. RIP. 45 ACP. Black and white box meant to look military. So you're telling me that a client, a client used a round that looks like this. A hollow point round. And you do not mean to kill the person that was attacking you. Okay. Let's hear your client's case. Well, these are the radically invasive projectiles. Chambered in 45 ACP. You see those? The thumbnail to this video you saw what this bullet is designed to do. Okay. Do I... How do I feel about these? I don't know. If you look at the ballistics test, they're kind of meh, really. Um, they're not. They're not super impressive. But it's got the scary black box with the white, and it's designed to look intimidating, right? And it says, "R.I.P." Rest in peace, right? That's what one would think. And a lot of these people do call these rest in peace rounds. I used to because I couldn't remember what they were actually called. These are called radically invasive projectiles. You saw in the thumbnail what the ballistics on one of these look. This is essentially a hollow pointed bullet, right? Um, it's got a deep, deep cavity in there. Much deeper than the Barnes X uh, Tech X, X uh, PD that I use. That's it right there for those, right? Um, these are defensive rounds, obviously. You don't. I mean, I will bring these to the range and use them when I first. If I decide to try out a new defensive round, that's the only time I I. I use them. I will load five or six of them into a magazine, and I'll fire them like I would in a self-defense situation to see just how they feed, do they cause any malfunctions, anything like that. Um, I haven't done that with these RIP rounds yet, because I haven't been to the range since I got them. But uh, these, these are my current defensive um, um, ammunition, and it will continue to be, at least, it's not going to lose its spot to these, and I'll tell you why. You know, for the same reason that you don't fire a warning shot, right? Think about this, okay? Think about the optics of the situation, and how it looks, Okay, because if you're ever in a self-defense situation, you're likely, I mean, first off, firearms are a very controversial topic. And you're likely to not get a jury of people that are very happy about these, right? There's a, there's a you know, an attitude out there that people who own these things are... Just big, mean people, and you want to hurt everybody, and that's not true. At least not for a lot of us, or most of us. Some of us, obviously, um, you know, and now that I can 
you know, I mean, I could legally carry before, but I couldn't legally conceal. But now that I am a, a uh, licensed concealed weapons holder, as of Monday, um, I can tell you that one of the things that they're going to look at, right, obviously is your actions, what you did in the situation. Um, did you try to escape? Did you use any other avenue? Like pepper spray or something like that before turning to lethal force? Um, if you fire a warning shot, what that's going to do is tell the police. So I wasn't in fear of my, night, my life enough to be able to use lethal force, but I discharged the firearm. No good. And in this kind of situation, with these, if they were marketed differently, not meant to look, they said the last round you will ever need. Right here. Right? And it shows you what they do in the background, but you'll see in the thumbnail too. These little show cars, these little metal pieces that break off, disperse out somewhere around three inches into the target. Um, that's, of course, that's ballistics gel. So how it behaves in a human body may vary. Um, because, obviously, a human body, we're not just, you know, skin. We are tissues and muscle, which is tissue and bone and all of those things. The optics of this do not look good. Um, the fact that they're radically invasive projectiles, we understand that in the community. You know, it's actually kind of funny. Um, I found a video that I watched about nine years ago. And in that video, if I could find the... the the, uh, com or the comment, I'll take a screenshot. I believe I may have already screenshot it. Where it says, I'm not switching from the rounds that I have. Basically clowning on these, and now I have a box of them. Nine years later. Okay. I just got curious. But, you have to pay attention to things. If, I mean, granted, you see how this is the same black kind of box with the white and all that stuff, right? So this shows you what they're designed to do. That's how they break apart, right? Not like your traditional hollow point either. But I have a lot of easier of a time defending myself, or not, de not defending myself, because I have firearms and legal protection. You should get them. And uh, I'd have a lot better of a time Defending, being defended in court, carrying the Barnes TAC XPD defense ammunition versus this, versus some, some RIP rounds, radically invasive projectiles, but they're going to be marketed as rest in peace. And it says, the last round you will ever need, implying that. This is going to be it, man. It's going to take all the people out and do all that stuff, right? The G2 Research Radically Invasive Projectile is a personal defense round that maximizes dissipation of energy into its target. The RIP is a solid copper projectile created with the latest design and manufacturing technology. This patented 45 ACP will change the ballistics industry, and it truly is the last round you will ever need. No, because this is going to look terrible in court. This is going to look horrible. Something like this. Same color scheme. But it's not marketed like it's supposed to kill you, right? I realize in a self-defense situation, you're probably going to need that. I mean, my everyday carry is a 9mm. What do I carry in there? Six-hour V-Crown Elite Defense. This is what I carry in my 9. This is what 
this has in it. Yes, it's an inside the waistband holster because now I'm a legal concealed carrier. An unassuming little hollow point, right? How does, other than the caliber difference actually, we'll just, you know, how does something like that look compared to something like this, right? This just looks meaner. Right? How does this look? This is something like this. Right? This is elite defense. Right? It says defense right there, which is what hollow points are. Defensive rounds. How does that look compared to the RIP that's written all over the box there? It looks better. It looks a whole lot better. So I say that, all that to say this. Think about the optics of the situation. And even if you're 100% in the right, you're probably being judged by people that either don't know much about firearms or don't like them. You gotta kinda think about that later.